Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, shaker flip page. Um, it was requested by several of you, so I thought I would do it real quick. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a little stamping and embossing as well. So if you want to see how that stuff is done, then stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And what you're going to need is page 31 from the Ultimate DIY scrapbook printable template and I've already printed I've already cut mine out I just wanted to show you what the page looked like itself and I'm not going to use the pattern paper uh, for this I'm just going to use the design that comes with the template let me move this out of the way so I'm going to make I'm going to make it two different ways for you so I've printed out two sets um, of the banner flags so I've already scored them and I've already inked them on both sides only because you can see sometimes that little bit of an edge. Okay, so once you have them all cut out and ready to go, the next uh, step to do is to cut out the window on both of them, on both sides. So first I'm going to, no, I'm going to show you this one first. Um, you can, this is a piece, this is from page 11. This is one of the banner pieces. You can simply lay this down like that. Let's do it on the back side so that the pencil marks won't show. You lay it down where you want it and then trace around it. My camera's acting funny today. It keeps shutting off so hopefully I don't miss that. Oops. I shifted it a little bit. Just lay it down like that. Let me get my cutting mat out. Okay, I have a brand new cutting mat from ScorePal. This is my favorite uh, cutting mat. Look how pretty. It's all clean and no marks. All right, first time use. So what you're going to need is a ruler and a craft knife. And so all you need to do is you want to go on the outside of that line well, I guess it really doesn't matter because we, we traced it out on the back side. So I'm just going to carefully cut it out with my craft knife. Made my first mark on my new clean, fresh cutting mat. And you just take your time and get it cut out just right. There. Save that piece because you can use that for something else. So then what you want to do is you want to take the other side of this or the other piece of this and lay it, match it up, lay it on top. Make sure you get it pretty good matched up. And then you just want to trace that out. And then cut that out in the same way. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, and I'll be back. Okay, so I got both of these pieces cut out. The windows are cut out in them. Um, but I also wanted to show you if you wanted, if you didn't want to use, if you wanted a bigger like opening, you didn't want to use um, this piece from the other page, then you can just simply measure in. Let me do it on the back side. Let me just get those out of the way. I'm going to measure in about five eighths of an inch. If I can see, the glare is kind of making it hard for me to see. And basically, I'm just going to go all the way around, measure five eighths of an inch in. This is on the back side, so it's not going to show. So you don't have to worry where your lines start and stop. Oops, I need to I need to get my other ruler. The Tim Holtz ruler sometimes certain spots wear off and I can't read the or I can't see the lines. Yep, that's better. Oops. Oops. 
Oops, turned it the wrong way. Okay, so then you just want to trim out this inside right here, just like we did the other one. And this piece could be used for something else too. So then I'm going to get my other piece. I'm going to lay it, match it up, lay it down, and then just trace it out exactly like the other one. Whoa. See, it moved on me a little bit. <laughs> Since I'm using pencil, I can erase it. It's no big deal. And then you want to cut this out the exact same way you cut this one out. I'll do that and I'll be back. All right, I got both sets ready. I inked up around the inside edges of each one. So for one of these, I'm going to use Fun Foam. And what I did was I took, it was like a square. I think you can get them in like packs, you know, like a, a thick pack, a multi-pack, multi-colors or whatever for pretty cheap. So I, all I did was I laid this down onto here and then I traced out around it and then trimmed it out with my scissors. So I've got this piece of Fun Foam. In order to get the window, I'm going to lay it back down on here and I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to trace the inside. And don't worry about the thick line because you're going to cut on the other side of this line. Just like that. I guess we're going to have to use our craft knife to, to do the other side of the line here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to lay my ruler down and use my... It should cut through just fine. Let's see how many passes it takes me. Oh, I probably just took the one pass, but I did two. So you want to cut on the outside of that black line. I don't know if you can really tell or not. And this is just one way. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple different ways. So if you didn't have Fun Foam, you can use the other one. If you didn't have the other one, you could use Fun Foam. You could use chipboard. Just You could use recycled cereal boxes. You know, you just maybe stock a couple of them up. Because part of the shaker part that makes it fun is that stuff moves around in it. So you need to have a little bit of thickness. for that to happen. There we go. So I'm going to keep this too because I might use this for something else. So then it should fit perfect. So the second way is using the 3D or 3D, the 3M foam tape, but I'm not going to add this yet because we need to put our clear material on first. So what I'm going to use for that is these Avriel stamp and die storage pockets. There's like 25 and they're they're real thick and they're crystal clear so I think this is a good um, alternative to like acetate or transparencies or, or some of that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I've already cut one set out. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to take my um, my shaker bit here, my um, banner, and I'll lay it down and trace the one side out like that. Oh, you know, I better trace this side too. Oh, I shifted it. And then I'm just going to take scissors. These are the Tim Holtz really long um, scissors that will cut through anything. Let me make sure this is going to be in there. Alright, so this is, since it's closed on the bottom, I'm going to cut a sliver on that side here in just a second. Let me trim this bottom out. 
Oh, it looks like I'm going to cut my finger. And so this, it's closed on all three sides except for this one. So I'm going to, I'm going to trim these bottom pieces off. Like that. And I'm going to trim this side off. Oops. Got a little too much of a sliver. And then I'm going to trim this side off. I know it's kind of hard to see. So, it should fit on there just perfect. And it does. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tape on the, the one that doesn't have the, um, the flap, I'm going to put tape on the back side of it. I'm going to use Suquain score tape because it's strong. That way nothing will nothing will sneak out the sides. I'm going to actually I'm going to do this to both of them because they both need the acetate. So I'm going to add it to this too. Alright so now they both got the tape on there and I am going to remove the tape from them and add these clear cut out pocket plastic pocket sleeves thing. So since it's such sticky sticky super sticky tape just be careful when you're laying it down you want to make sure that you get it get it on there. There we go. Oh I got a bit of a wrinkle it looks like. I think it's okay. So there's one side that one's done. I'm going to do this one the exact same way. And I'm also going to do the these these two the same way too. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've got all of the, the uh, Avriel stamp pocket die storage cutout pieces that I did stuck onto each one of these banners. And so the first, I'm going to do the easiest one first, which is the um, foam tape. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attach it to the piece that does not have the flap. And so what you want to make sure that you do is that you go right up next to that inside edge or close to it anyway. And you want to add your tape. Just like that. You want to make sure there's no gaps because you don't want anything falling through. I should have taken that to the edge. I'm not going to I'm not going to be happy that that's Let me just cut off a piece. There. Now I'm happy. <laughs> all right. So you just want to go all the way around. If you wanted to, you could double up on your foam tape. Um, I'm not going to for this one. And then I'm going to be real careful. I need to try to, let's see, how am I going to try to do this? Get it as close to that as possible because I do not want a gap. So I'm going to make this to where it's a little bit more of a severe angle and see if that matches up better. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right. So I've got that one ready. And then the other one which is the the fun foam. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to apply it to the one that does not have the flap on it. And I've already added the double-sided tape on here. And I went around each edge, the inner edge and the outer edge. So I'm going to go through and start taking this tape off. Okay, so I've got all that tape off. <laughs> That was, that was, uh, hopefully I fast forward through that for you guys. 
<laughs> Alright, then you want to carefully match it up. So you want to probably start at the top there. And if you get off a little bit, that's okay. You can just trim it off because, you know, I don't live in a perfect world. Do you guys? I think that would be kind of boring, wouldn't it? And I got off a little bit, but that's okay. I can either ink it up, you know, with my ink, which you can hardly see, or I can just take my scissors and go right up next to the, just like that, right up next to the, um, to the banner there, to the edge. Okay, so there's that one, and here's this one. So before I start putting anything in there, I need to put tape on here. So I'm going to use the score tape again. I'm going to do the outside edge. Again, and then I'm going to go um, along this inside edge as well. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is add, before I add, excuse me, before I take off the tape or add anything to the inside, I want to, let me move this uh, score mat out of the way. I don't want it to get anything on it. I'm going to take this um, static free thing so that whatever I put in here doesn't stick to the plastic. Um, this one is Happy Bugs. So I just want, and I also don't want it to stick to the tape, whatever I end up putting in here. So I'm going to do this before I take the tape off, obviously, because I don't want um, to, to unstick the tape. And I'm going to do it to the back sides of these, too. Before I take the tape off of there, I'm going to show you the stuff that I'm going to put in there. Um, these are sequins from Hobby Lobby. And I think they come in a two-pack, so I think these two came together. One of them is snowflakes, and the other one is um, a blue-green teal kind of color. And then I think these two came together. And they're just kind of a muted, um, metallic-y type color. So it's kind of like a, a warm silver, I guess. So I'm going to be using these, not the blue-green one. So I'm going to use those sequins. And I'm also going to use some uh, glass seed beads because I think it helps with the movement. It, it, these are bead treasures and I'm pretty sure I got these at Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to use this um, Recollections glass glitter. I got this at Michael's a couple weeks ago. It was on sale. There's all kinds of choices uh, in here. So I think I'm going to use some of the colors. And I'm also going to use um, the metals, the metal colors to the metallics. I'm not going to use that one. I might use the the blue and the green. That one's not the right green. So let's see what else. And then I might use the clear. I'm not going to use either one of those. I might use this one. Although it's really not silver, it's kind of a gold. Maybe that's the only one I use out of this pack. They're really pretty, I think. All right, so um, those are the things I'm going to use. So I'm going to I'm going to take the tape. I think I'll do one at a time. Oops. And I'm going to take the tape off of this one, and I'm going to do that and be right back because maybe I'll take the tape off of both and be right back. All right, I got the tape off of both, and I think I am just going to start adding. So I'm going to add some snowflakes. I just thought these were pretty. Aren't they pretty? There you go. I just figured I would be careful not to get it on the tape like I just did. It would be stuck there. Oh, look, I did there too. Oh, well, looks looks like I'm going to have one stuck. There we go. So just be more careful than me. You don't want to have to fight it like I just did. And I, I guess I'm going to go ahead and do them both at the same time. And then for this one over here, I'm going to add this, um, this warmer color silver. I think it's pretty. Some people say less is more. 
I don't know. I kind of like I kind of like it to be uh, you know full. And this this is the clear glass. I'm gonna add that one to both. I just like that one. And then let's do a little bit of pink over here. Yep, yep, yep. And I think I'm gonna add some no I'm gonna have I'm gonna add this color glass beads over here. Okay, and then over here, um, I'm going to add the white beads. And maybe the blue, blue and green maybe. These, all these colors go with this paper line and this scrapbook that I'm making. All right, so now I've got them both ready. And then here comes the tricky part. No, not really. <laughs> so I'm going to get the right one that goes with this one. And I'm going to take a, my time. Look, it's already coming up to the other piece there. I'm going to carefully lay that down, just like that, and press it all the way around. In my opinion, the foam tape is a lot easier than using the fun foam. Um, there's just less steps. Yeah, see? You see all the pretties in there? So this is what's going to attach to the page right here, so then this will be like the flip part. Yeah, I like that. And see how the seed bees help everything move around really good? Okay. So then this one, same thing. I'm going to be careful, even though I just saw that the glass, the glass um, glitter was attracted to the plastic, even with the uh, static stuff on there. Whoa, see? <laughs> That's kind of fun. All right. I'm trying to take my time here. Trying to line her up just right. Here we go. There we go. You could add it initials. You could add, oh, look what I didn't do. I didn't press it down right here. Oh, let's see if I can fix that. I can. Jeez Louise, why didn't I press it down right there? Now I got glass glitter everywhere. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now I need to make sure I've pressed down everywhere else. Good grief. There. So then this is the part that will attach to the page, just like that. I know it looks a little cloudy because of that powder, but I, it will, eventually, it will settle down a little bit. Let me see if I can clean this up a little bit. All right, so now I want to attach one of these to my book. So I'm thinking I'm going to put one, I'm thinking I'm going to put this one, like, right here. I think that might be cute, a little flip page right there. So let me grab some tape, and I'm going to put it on the back side of this flap right here. down a little bit. And then I'm just going to line it up where I want it, I think. And then I'm just going to tuck that flap under there. Just like that. So now I have me a flap shaker page. So you can stick a photo under there. I think that would be super cute. What can I stick under there real quick? Ah, 
How come I don't have anything sitting right here? Yeah, you could stick a photo under there where you could see through the plastic. That would be really, really cute. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you all how I made these ornaments next. So I'm gonna gather the stuff to do that, and I shall return. Real quick before I do that, I think I'm gonna add this one here onto this belly band right there. I think that would be cute, just right there. Yeah, I like it. I wish, I wonder how this is glued down. I wonder if I can get it up. I wish I could get it underneath there so that it doesn't look like an afterthought. Let's see, try not, whoop, try not to rip the paper too bad. Okay, I did, I got it up enough. So I'm going to attach it down this way. I'm gonna put tape on both sides so I can reattach that mat that's on the belly band there. See, you can't really make mistakes. You can always fix your mistake. All right, I'm gonna take the tape off. I think I'm gonna just take it off of one side. Maybe I'm gonna take it off the other side first. <laughs> I think how I'm going to do it is I'm going to line it up this way maybe. So then when it flips down, yeah. Okay. So then I'm going to try to sneak under here and get this piece. I'm getting my head in the way. Here we go. Now I've got that glass glitter everywhere. Yeah. Gonna, since I ripped that page a little bit, I'm going to ink it up a little bit. So there, now I have a flip for right there on that belly band. Cute. Like it. All right, now I'm going to gather this stuff together to show you how I did the embossing and stuff. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I got these embossed ornaments here. I used the stamp set uh, that matches the paper collection. It's by Kaiser Craft and it's called Silver Bells. It's really cute. And so what it is, it's, it's um, ornaments and then there's snowflakes and then there's some sentiments. Well, on one of the ornaments there was a sentiment inside. So all I did, it was attached to it. I just cut it out because I wanted to be able to use this large ornament and put like snowflakes in it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick that on there. I'm going to get this smaller one here. I'm going to stick that on there. And then I'm going to add a couple snowflakes inside there, right there. So I think I'm going to do um, maybe this one. And then there's a tiny one. You could put initials inside there. You don't have to stamp it all at the same time. You can uh, I put the word uh, ho in, in them to do like the ho, ho, ho. I did three of them, so they're ready to go whenever I want to use them. So then I'm going to grab my scraps over here and pick out a couple colors. I'm going to stamp them both at the same time. So let me see here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a surface that's squishy. This is my fun, my thicker fun foam mat. I don't know if you can tell there. It's about a quarter of an inch thick that I use when I'm doing my scoring. And I'm going to find my Versamark ink. And I'm also going to use the embossing powder I'm going to use is from Stampendous. And it's aged silver embossing enamel. Now, I am not the world's best at any of this. I'm not a good stamper. I'm not a good embosser. But I'm going to give it a whirl. I've, I've done it a little bit, but it's still, I'm still not that great at it. So I'm just going to ink my stamp up real good. And you can't really see it. You just kind of need to tilt it to make sure that it's, you know, a little shiny. 
Then I'm going to flip it over and press it down. I got a pretty good image. And I'm going to repeat that for this pink over here. So the Versamark ink stays wet for a pretty good amount of time. So now I've got a coffee filter here and I'm going to shake this up a little bit. And I'm just going to pour it directly over top of my stamped image there. And I'm going to tap it. Oh, I did pretty good. I did pretty good. I'm going to do the other one. Oh, missed a little bit up there. There, that stamped pretty good. And then I'm just going to put this back in this jar before I do anything else. All right, so from what I understand, watching other people's videos, if you let your heat gun heat up a little bit, it does better. So I'm going to let mine heat up a little bit. Okay, sorry about the noise, but I'm going to go ahead and start embossing this or liquefying it not I guess, or I guess it's the same thing it doesn't take very long I hope you can see it changing I'm gonna leave this in real time so you can see how long it takes Okay, these do not have a matching die set, so I'm just going to fussy cut them out. I'm going to separate them off the big pieces here. Put them back in my scraps. And I'm going to use my little cutter bee scissors, and it really doesn't take that much time. You can go right up to the edge if you want to, or you can just... Um, go around. Here I'm just leaving a slight uh, border and I'm not really even doing a very good job. I even leave the little hook thing there. See that didn't take no time at all but see I left a little bit of a border. On this one I'll just go right up next to it and show you the difference. So this one I left a border and this one I trimmed it right to the edge. So either way it still looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these other two out and then we'll, we'll keep going. Okay so the next step is to ink it up both front and back. If you want to. You don't have to. I'm not being very neat about it, Emma. Some you won't see a lot of it, but some of it you will. So, all right. So I'm gonna move these aside over here, and we'll grab my book. So the reason I was making these is I would like to put them on my cards somehow. So I'm trying to decide how I want it to go. I think that would be cute like that. Oh, I don't want it to hang over too much. Yeah, I like that. So I'm literally just going to glue these down. I think I'll use my Fabri-Tac. Let's do the big one first. small one. Then I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to match up the back here with the other two that I just that I cut out that I just did. So it's real simple. So it doesn't matter if you get glue um, all over the place. So it's going to match up right there and it's going to, if I can see, Push them down a little bit and then match them up right there. So now I've decorated that with those little ornaments, the stamped images. See, it looks cute. So then 
I'm going to go ahead and add it to this too. There we go. Let's do that. And then one right here. Yep. Now I need to find two more. Okay, so I've made a couple more. And I'm going to go ahead and add those. If I can get the top off my glue. Let's get this down a little bit. I'm going to add those. Match them up. This one's going to have the... I think I'll end up trimming that off. Yep. It's just going to have a circle. Um, okay, so that's it. So remember, if you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and tell me the kind of things that you would like to see. If you've seen something in the flip throughs that you want to see me do. Um, this was a request, so the shaker flip pages. Um, let me know if you want to see anything else. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.